Hello, and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your full moon mini reading. This is a very mini reading just to give you an idea where to set your intentions. We have a full moon that's coming up in Aries. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, then please make sure you let the uh, video play a little bit past your reading. And I will give you a rundown of what to expect with this full moon and Aries energy. My goodness. All right, you guys, as I start, and I always tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to the channel. Thank you for all of the comments. I read every last one of them. Now, for this mini reading that we're about to have, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello to our cross watchers. Keep in mind that we are slating this for full moon, but you may hear something that happened three months ago, maybe something that's happening today, maybe something that may go on in the near future. And also keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. It could actually relate to an energy that is surrounding you as well. So always keep that in mind. Okay, you guys, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 Please subscribe to the channel and right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Hit that bell and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Okay, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It helps push these readings out a little further. And I think that is all I need to tell you guys. Oh, we're on Patreon. On the Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants and our weekly love energy for $5.55 per month. You guys, you can't beat that. Okay, all right. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading and do understand that this reading is a mini reading. This is simply for you to be able to set your intentions. And if you don't know how to set your intentions, the link showing you how to set your, intention, your intentions can be found below. Okay? All right, so let's just get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st? 2020. What messages need to go forth? Okay. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth? Sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st, 2020. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on that Ooh. Okay. That one fell directly on this one. So we have to see if these two have some type of uh, correlation between the two. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on October 1st, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Oh. All right. Well, that was a interesting shuffle. Very interesting. All right. So, first card is past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. So, this could be a twin flame. Uh, could be some karmic debt that is being paid back right now from the past. Could mean somebody from your past is coming back that you're needing to deal with, okay? Um, for this past relationship or past life relationship. 
contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So you need to really think during this time. Take this full moon to think things totally through and take your time. Anytime you see how, if you need to go someplace to do this, it's important that it is done. Okay, you don't need any distractions while you're contemplating what you need to do. Because it says spend time alone. So you need to be alone. Meditating upon what you truly desire. Meditate means spirit speaks to you. So you need to be in a, in a quiet space for this to happen. Because apparently, remember I told you that something was up with this shuffle. Um, it was very different. And so um, I feel like once you contemplate, once you sit quietly, once you allow spirit to speak to you, um, you have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold, alchemy. So spirit, spirit wants to take you to another level. But you can't get there if you can't settle yourself to get the instructions and know what you need to do. Okay? You've created this situation. You have the power to change it. I do believe this is directly related to this relationship here. So whatever the situation that you're in, especially if it's holding you back, okay, you need to make sure that you uh, get it back on, on point because it says that you created the situation and you have the power to change it. So clearly something needs to be changed. Something needs to be worked on. Something needs to be looked upon. Something, something needs to be addressed here. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. Okay? Just ask for what you want. You got it. And that's going goes back to the contemplation time. This is a time again for you to listen. But as spirit is speaking to you in your spirit and your soul, if it's something you desire, tell spirit. Okay. Use that time wisely because it's an opportunity that's here for you. This is beautiful. This is an opportunity and it's here for you, but you gotta kind of settle yourself down to really process all of this mentally, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to the private reading, it can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye. I feel like don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. This is all on you. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye, my loves. All right, you guys, I'm here to give you a little information about this full moon in Aries. Oh, my goodness. Proceed with caution. <laughs> That's all I can tell you is proceed with caution. Because this full moon in Aries of uh, 2020 or the harvest moon, it also is called the harvest moon because this is the time of year where, of course, you know, um, a lot of farmers harvest their crops. But it, it's going to pack a major... Um, intensity with this, okay? Um, this impactful lunar event will occur when the relationship-oriented sun in Libra is in the exact opposition to the self-serving Aries moon, moon. And this is going to happen on Thursday, October 1st at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, remember that Aries is a cardinal fire sign and it represents individual identity and um, the first spark of life because, you know, Aries is the first sign, of course. Um, in its purest form, its energy, it charges ahead first and then it, it asks the questions later. And that's sometimes where Aries can be, uh, can have a challenge because it kind of goes forth and blows up and then comes back and tries to, ref you know, retreat to try to understand everything. But with the full moon, it's advised to avoid sudden action and reaction and to instead take the time to process your emotions this is so important that you take the time don't move too fast try to process everything before you make a decision on something or try to think things through that's the most important thing so by combining combining action and this emotional processing that we're going to need for this full moon in aries this is going to be revealing of what's boiling beneath the surface. So, you know, it's going to be pitting our needs against our needs of others. It's going to be kind of like a clash there. And it's going to form a powerful connection with the wounded warrior. 
okay so you know the um the tarot card the wounded warrior who's experienced problems and very guarded so this is what we're dealing with right now now sharon and aries uh which is responsible for bringing dormant issues to light and that's another situation that we're dealing with right now uh we may feel triggered by external events um, it's going to force us to face challenges and uh, reveal changes that we must make in our lives. And this is something that many of us may not want to deal with, but we're going to be forced to. Uh, we're going to have to honor our emotions and strategize on how we can peacefully shift or change our reality. And that's the best course of action uh, that we can take right now, which is going to help us avoid any type of confrontation or relationship eruptions, okay? And so we're going to be very, very careful um, during this time. Um, we also may see a sense of um, irrit irrit uh, being irritable because also realize that Mars is in retrograde in Aries. Oh my God, which is squaring with Saturn and Capricorn. So that occurred on uh, September 29th. So this profound cosmic alignment has occurred twice this year and has uh, exasperated feelings of, of restriction and disagreements with authority and the desire to break free from old structures that no longer serve us. So we're going to see this not only on the, in our individual lives, but we're going to see this in on a uh, probably a, a community and a a, uh, a national and maybe even international round round with what's going on here. So um, so you can kind of pinpoint and understand which areas of your life that uh, this is going to occur in for you. It's going to be based on where your Aries and your Libra show up in your natal chart. So you can look at that and you can run your own birth chart. We have the link below, okay? So after you pinpoint where Aries and Libra shows up in your um, birth chart, um, you need to kind of put your focus there. You know, focus on self-care, which is essential to not only surviving, but thriving during this time. And so that's where you're going to um, kind of get your, your, your understanding on how to proceed through this. Okay, you guys? All right. Good luck. It's about to be very, very serious. And did I mention uh, Mercury is going into retrograde real soon as well? I know, like anything else could have happened right now. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye-bye.